So on your screen, you will see a group of people. They are residents of 20th Street and 24th Street. Well, these people you are seeing, they are victims. If I say victims, they are victims of land ownership or the land around 24th Street and 20th Street. There's a uh, individual said that the, the, the people, the land they are, they are occupying, the land belongs to them. Now, the people, the resident, JFA, 24th Street, 20th Street, they said that they want to channel their grievances through the media. Well, ladies and gentlemen, not to waste your time, let's better get to the chairman, the community chairman, Mr. Emmanuel Klibo, will better explain the story. Mr. Klibo, you are welcome to the media. Thank you very much. Uh, let me say thanks to all of you for coming. Uh, once again, I'm um, S.B. Randall, the Golden Chairman of uh, the Golden Randall Community from 24 Streets. Uh, it was up last month, uh, April uh, 15, we received a writ of summon from the court in my Sweden court. And looking at the communication in our possession, it was this one Mr. Regina Gurich who carried our complaint and the issue rate against the community. And he said that the land uh, in question, a uh, portion of 20 Street and 24 Street belongs to him. But uh, quite interestingly, we know that we have been residing on this land since 1984. And yeah, our, yeah, yeah. our being on this land since 1984, we received a decree from the PRC government. Yeah. Because at which time Mr. Henry Yaw was serving as a community chairman, and we knew that those who were residing here at which time they were building GFKs around 1975 and in 1965, uh, the government of Liberia paid everyone that were living here, paid them off because GFKs were being built here. But then in the event, when we came on our our fourth father came where well, there was you know desire to, to live in this place, the place of first call, Gio Beach. And Henry Dow, who served as a chairman, decided to write the PRC government, making them to understand that in as much as we are citizens of this community, there's a uh, of this place, there's a need that we get a status which will be able to pay tax to government. And in that event, he wrote the, the PRC government and they were accepted uh, January 18, 1984, the PRC government uh, replied the, the, the community leadership and then uh, May 15, 1984, asked us to get a structure right, and in the event, we decided to pay tax to government. But after the war, we are not being able to pay tax to the government, but the government is in the know of our being here. And I can also tell you, during Manasseh administration, uh, Manasseh authorized the, the, uh, the government to come and break this place down. She did not know that indeed we had a decree that, that got her to be here. But uh, later on, we decided to write the UN, the American Embassy, uh, the, the Green Advocates, a lot of people who wrote that. Uh, along with even the vice president, we will have communication from the former vice president, Joseph Yuma Bakke, in our possession because when we presented the communication to the Liberian government, they get to realize that indeed our being here, we are not just here, but the government of Liberia is in the know of our being here. So uh, the former vice president, Joseph Yuma Bakke, replied us through the, the office of the president, uh, informing the president that the Liberian government is obligated to call to us. Because in this decree, the decree says that if the government is in need of this place, they should set up prior notice one year and be able to relocate and compensate us. And this is the reason for which we are here. So it's, if an individual is coming to claim this property, it becomes a concern because we that live here, we do not have our money. So we are calling everybody to come to, you know, to our aid at this time because we do not have money to fight those guys. Because as I, as I speak to you, when we went at the court, we saw some Lebanese guys who are sure. also, who, uh, they, they, they people trying to you know pass through them to get that place and take off from this place and that the only people that can take off from the place is the government but we want to want to call this attention so that people can come and help us in that direction because we do not have money so this is the reason for which we decide to call you people so we can let you know at least inform our our people political actors you know NGO you know the, the, the American embassy because we are citizens of this, of this country, so they cannot just come and uh, and just and one day time just take off from this place where in we had a decree that that happened, you know, as a resident of this place. Okay. Yes. Yes. See me. I'm Stephen Ravos, and I report for Joy FM. Um, can you tell us what uh, the negative impact it has on you right now, especially as per the communication you have in your head? If you are to be removed from here today. Yeah. Uh, first thing. Uh, since the, the, the rate, we have been we have been traumatized because there, there are a lot of traumas now that we are you know in bitches because we do not have the, the means of living from the place you know abruptly. So any attempt to move off from the place abruptly, obviously uh, we will be out of homes and most of our our uh, wives, uh, our children, our mothers, our fathers. And uh, this is where you know we are bent to, to survive. We are bent to survive. So at the end result, we will find it very difficult to survive. And I can tell you for free. 
in as much that is done abruptly, you see a lot of you know chaos that will go on because many people die from how to die from trauma because they don't have a place to go. My name is Stanley. I report for ABC Radio. What would be the next action plan? Uh, our next action plan here is that because, uh, even though we went at the court, but we have uh, we we sent a communication to the vice president and of Liberia, and uh, the uh, the legal advisor told us that uh, where the vice president is now, looking at the, uh, the kind of a confrontation between you know she and the president, they will not want to advise her to to be uh, part of this process because it will be politicized in a negative manner. So for that reason, we decided to take the communication to. Uh, on the side, Joseph, uh, the senator of in the Mosserrata County, and the document uh, stay in the possession of the honorable. He has not spoken to that here for over a year, and we also took that to uh, uh, Darius Delon, Dow Delon, the office. And up to current, they are not being able to respond to our request because we decided to involve all other political actors who come to our aid. We also sent some of the communication to Honorable Javani Kochi, and wherein they are not being able to, uh, to, to to speak to us at this time. But even though uh, we we, we uh, inform our our representative, which is Honorable uh, uh, Saad Foko, we, we inform him that on that, and we all have been working together. You know, he just took over. And for, for him to just uh, upright it, take control of these things, it's not just easy because he just took over. He need to do some other investigation so that we can get some fact findings, you know, from us and to, you know, some of your colleagues to see how best he can come to our rescue. But we are all working together, you know, smoothly and everything. And we believe that the way he's coming in, things will be okay, but for now we want to create this attention to the public so the public can be able to know as to what is happening. Yes, yeah, so uh, my name is Aisha Niva and I report for KMTV. Uh, I listened to you in your previous elaboration. You made mention of a decree which was uh, actually given you by the previous government. Now, what is your fear in terms of uh, a private citizen wanting to claim ownership of this entire land? Yes, my, our fear now is that uh, we, we, we do not have a fear that if we go to the court, probably they will be able to take off from us easily, but our fear is that we do not have money. And the guys can, the guy will use the cash violence against us, where he probably, you know, before the government can come in, we will be homeless. So this is the reason for which we are calling the attention of the public. Are you to telling us, are you telling us the court won't be able to seek justice if you, you might have had the referral document? That will substantiate your fact that you mean you have a status on this thing. Yeah, yeah. Uh, not that the court will not be able to serve our justice, but you also understand there is no there is no justice for the poor. There is no justice for the poor. If I do not have money, the one who had the physical cash can all can all run my case. And at the end of the day, the, the, you will see it as a justice, but it is not justice. The word justice in ESS is not fair, and the warfare in ESS is not also fair. So right. it's possible that can be removed from here but because we do not have a cash. The whole the whole run us. You 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 made mention of the issue of cash yeah. consistently. Yeah. Uh, do you think that the issue of money is actually the key factor to getting justice in Liberia? I, I may not want to say that uh, in totality, but like I'm saying, there is no justice for the poor because I'm a poor man. I do I have a case, but I do not have money to fight the case. So it also passes the one who had the cash can go around me and then and then be, and seek the justice that you think of. But at the end, it is not the justice that which I wanted because I didn't have the money and he had the money. And you took control of it. But you are going to court. I mean, the court is where people seek justice. Why will you continue to consistently be referring to yourself as a poor man? I'm saying to you, I, I do not have money. I am going to court. But I'm going to court, I do not have money. Because I, the money that will be spent there to seek justice, I may not have the money. And if I do not have the money, what's going to happen? The guy who carried me may have the opportunity because the, the, the court will not be looking at you know, money per se, but the court will be looking sometimes looking at the reality. But you do not know what be happening behind the scenes. And more we are slum dweller, we may not have the means. So we are looking for political actors to come in and intervene. Now they can hold on to our decree and be able to fight for us. Now look at the the, the race being posed by the the sea. Uh, aside from somebody coming to claim ownership of this place, uh, what race do you think this entire area poses to uh, the residents of this place with regard to the sea? Inclusion, even on the fence of the GFK, you sometimes see the, the fence is like trying to fall. Yeah, well, we, we see a lot of wrecks involved. Uh, even when, as you can see, if you want to even walk along the deep side, you get to know that most of the houses that there were being uh, broken down by the sea erosion. But again, the government library is in the law because it's something that we are engaged in the government library of that. Because the came in before doing the administration, they said that they want to have her relocated. We said we do not have a problem with that. If you want to have her relocated, but I have to take everything, everything into, into consideration. One, where people are coming, well, where people are locating us, you will have schools, you need to have markets, you need to have uh, a hospital, you know, clinics and you know uh, water. All of these things we need we need it. But again, 
with our structure, we have to be compensated. Once you guys go by the law, by the law, according to what is in our possession, we do not have problem because we are also citizens of this of the country. Yeah, we see we see the threat in imposes to so us. In terms of population, uh, what number can you put the entire residents of this uh, area to? Yeah, uh, uh, two thousand two thousand and eight, we had a population estimate uh, around twenty thousand. Yes, and when the horses got broken down, we still uh, within the, the range of sixteen to seventeen thousand. Yeah, population estimated. Yes, and okay. even the, as you look at the GFK fans, if, if you just walk alongside the GFK fans, you will get to understand that indeed the government in Israel is not also fair to us as well because during the administration of Manasseh, the fan broke down and even damaged our car. If they have been human being, I, I can tell you today that indeed the person like not been seen. But again, if you go along the GFK fans, there we are engaged. GFK authority several times to the administration and even this administration, we are engaged the authority. We it's told them, we make them to understand that you cannot have that kind of a condition here like this and tomorrow the fence is broken down and kill somebody. Then you come to us and tell us, say, have my sympathy and give you a five thousand Nigerian dollar or United States dollars just for you to bury somebody. But the fact of the matter here is that this imposes a danger to us as a citizen of this country. So please help us and break this fence down. Even if you can pull a wire or zin fence there in the meantime, that will be okay because if we take away, if the fence take away the life of the person. 10,000, 20,000 will not give the life that today they are, the film have been taken from us. So they don't care. They don't care. And we do not want to consistently and persistently get in the street to protest. Protest should not be the way out of our, our, our problem in this country. You should also understand when somebody will go to you and walk to you diplomatically and engage you. You should understand the fact of the people. But taking the street and causing chaos because if I take the street, I'm also infringing on the right of the person. So why would people want us to continue to take, you know, uh, uh, a kind of uh, 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 decision that which it would not be a decision for what for everybody? Because I cannot infringe on the right of other people. Because there are other people in the hospital. I can tell my people here now, they're not going and besiege the entire GFK hospital. But do you know how many lives will be taken away? Is this a way out for our country? We say no. So when we come to the when we come to the public and engage in our situation, we expect you to come to our aid to see reason to see how best you can work. You can you can you can be able to hold on to the situation and resolve it immediately. So this is our concern. We do not want to protest. And we don't want to protest. Because protest is not the best way out. Uh, uh, Mr. Clivo, yeah. uh, somebody saying something on the last year, they said that the vice president, legal advisor, told you that the president and the vice president they are having a, a, a confrontation. Is that true? And when you went there, is that what they told you? This is what I'm saying to you. I'm saying to you that indeed, uh, we, we even went at the house of the vice president twice. A group of women, men and women, we went to the place. Yeah, on, 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 a, on one Saturday they told us, they said the only way you can be able to see the vice, pres the vice president if you get at the Capitol building, that would be the easy way because session they will be able to see the vice president. And I have my men, the youth chairman, a lot of people, we went, we went to the, the office of the vice president. I was the only person allowed in. And I went there and I submitted this document in my possession. They do have a copy there. And when I got there, the legal, the legal advisor made me to understand that indeed, they, they will not be able to advise the president, the vice president on that note because uh, the public will not look at it too good because uh, the person is a private individual and knowing that the vice president and the president they are not on good terms as people have been seen in the public so because of that or involvement into the situation it will be politicized in a negative way so because of that they will not advise and i said even though if, if that is the case the lawyer our lawyer had charged on one thousand united states dollars to what to plead the case so can the vice president help us in that direction it makes me to understand that indeed the individual in question is a former MPP chairman. And if the vice president having to help us in that direction and the information is given to the public, obviously that guy will take it against the vice president you know, and politicize it negatively. So because of that, they can't advise on that. And that's how we left. We went to Honorable Sir Joseph, we present this communication, this document. We went to Honorable Darrell DeLong. When you go into the Viva offices, it's there. To Javasi Kochi, it's there. I'm saying so you just say what we are done all the time because we do not want to take the streets. The document that issued to you from the court, there is any time or day that mention your document that you guys should be prepared. No, but but if we do not appear in court, the court going to run out a judgment or default. And that which we don't want to stand with because we stand in the race of that. So what's your major challenge? Are you talking about the issue of the lack of funding to uh, hire a lawyer or the issue of you uh, battering your case? In winning it to making sure that you can also be able to reclaim your rights you have here. These are the two challenges that we are faced with now. Yeah. One is the issue of finance. Even if we have to get the finance, we need a political will. Because the documents speak to the facts that indeed I will be here. So it is possible that I can have a word in one thousand and give it to my lawyer. But if we do not have a political will, justice will not be seen in our interest. 
because we are we are because we are uh, uh, high we are dwellers, we are dwellers, we don't have money. Our fear is we do not have money. We need political will as well. That is our fear. We want to live on here properly. Okay, uh thanks so much, uh, Mr. Chairman. We still here to let's say at 24th Street, 20th Street, talking to the victims, you know, there's a confusion over land ownership. So right here is our mother city right here, right by the chairman. And uh, mama, I see you, you know, you look worried. So what 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 can you say about the whole situation about this land issues? Yes. My name is Lucia Diaz. I only want to say that our dear is really my body. Okay. Body is continuing. The, our parents here to the PRC body, which is full time. Then he told our people that they should be there until they relocate. But any government who come to cleanse that place, they should relocate there and compensate there. So we understand that if anything want to go on there, the government should take it own and enforce to, 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 to help the citizens in the nation. We don't have to go to court, we don't have to do this. Yeah, the government said no that we we are honor them. So they should talk on behalf of us. They shouldn't be on the other side and we should pay lawyer, we should do that. Why should we pay lawyer? And which of course they know of being here. Our being here is not just free. They know of they know they know us to be here. So if anybody who wanna come take the place, let the government know of it. And tell the people that if anybody who needs the place because they true we need development. So if they want the place to develop a place, let them come and say you are come and set the people and relocate them. It will be fine. But you can just come on the other side and be going to court and be paying money, then the other people don't have money. So why you think we're taking money from who who are we on here? Who are the government? So, so your, your, government know of it. your point here, yeah. who may government have right yeah, to take it from here? Yeah. And if anyone Want to say they want to take out the go, yeah, government should take action. Yeah, take action. Okay, thank you so much. Yeah. Uh, another person here. Oh, yeah, brother. What's your name and what's your, your view? Well, I'm Joseph P. Kuku. Yes. I live in this community. You see. For how long have you lived here? I've been living here for the past 22 years. More than two years I've been living here. Okay, what do you know about cafe clean on this land? Yeah, you see, low Liberia, we have to be careful. Because sometimes when you trouble the poor people, you face the toughest disease ever on planet Earth. You see, this community, even when they were opening the alley, the public health minister doing the talk, doing the, 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 the Madame Sally regime, he came here, he came with the with the with the uh, uh, the engineer for those buildings there that you see. So when he came, the public health minister told him, he said, Well, I think you people have to stop there with your face, you know, your your construction there. Because this place that you are seeing this pillow that they play here, it was during the top one administration when they should build these books here. And so we get this place here to the to the common people to live here. The that when we get ready for them, they will move. So let it let the fence stop here. You understand? We heard that one guru went and even the 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 the, 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 the engineer, I live right there, I live right there the fence. He told me, he said, Papi, one man gave us some money for us to do something to, to get us some money so you will move. But then the public health minister came here and said that this place here, you know, that government place, so we shouldn't bother with it, you see. So it, it, it was done. Later on, the recent time we heard that the Jewish men gone again, you know, and I thank God it is the, the, the this administration, the CDC administration, since the early government was unable to move us through, through by hook and crook B from this, from this guy here. I think this government will protect us because they are they are, they, they are doing to be the poor, poor government. They are here to protect we the poor people. We are begging them. We are begging this government here to protect us. This is not our private land. This is government land. A government come out today, they say, my man, next year you're moving from here. We will pack our law and go according to the agreement that they gave us. They say we will relocate you all. We will, we will uh, uh, compensate you all. We are ready. We are ready. This is not our place. But an individual shouldn't go to Lebanese people and take thousands, thousands of dollars and say, look, give me the money. I will see to it that those people, that those people move. We don't have money. We don't have money to go pay lawyers. So we are asking the government to come in. You're seeing the situation in Nimba. People are ready to die here for their right. Let government tell all oh, we want to give this place to Lebanese people to develop it. We will move. But it shouldn't be an individual, one gurish, you see, one gurish from the MPP, you know, and, and, and he had this place here during the, during the April 6th when he was, he was in the Taylor government. You understand? When Roosevelt Johnson was living up there, 
you know, this that this is when a uh, guru used to come and patrol here. That when he had this place here, then later on he's coming here to to to, to come say they, 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 they left for him. He, he bought the place in uh, 19, I know, 1998. You know, I beg, I, I, no, let justice be done in this country here. This is not our land. This is government land. Let government tell us to move, we move. By all means, if, if we just want to do it with, with force, we 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 cook law, you know, and go through the law because we don't get money. They will face the toughest resistance ever on planet Earth. We are warning them. Let it stop. Let the government try to come in. Let it come and view the the, the place. The the public when minister came here, he said, "Look, just stop the gate here. Just stop the fence here. This is this is the people. This is the people. We'll get ready. The people will move. So this is what plea on us." Okay, Thank the you, last sir. president, mm -hmm. the yeah. youth chairman, you said you want to talk? Oh, youth chairman. Anyway, my name is Otelo Kole, youth chairman of the Marty People United Community. Well, uh, my chairman has said it all, and then nothing much to be said. But what I'm going to say to the public is this. This is the time now for the national government to intervene. This is the time now for the Labrador land authority to intervene because so many times, land conflict have been taking place in and around the country. So for now, if you, if you calculate, if you calculate the number of people or dwellers who lives here, the youth are dominating. And I, standing as a white youth chairman in my own capacity, we will stay and fight to the last for our land. So, if the so-called Gouish or a little New Leonie Ben come here in the community and want to take our land for all, sorry, they will not relent. But we will fight to the last. Thanks. So, Mr. Chairman, before we move to your, your final message, I'm going to keep the following. Okay, uh, my final message here is that uh, we want to. We are calling out all the other actors. The president of the Adrian is here with us. He will go now. I will now have an opportunity to see the vice president. And I know that she's hearing this. Uh, all the political actors are to say, Our long ever is ready with us, but he just took over and we are ready over. And tomorrow we are also going to meet with him because I want you to tell us that tomorrow we are going to meet with him and he's going to work with us. And my brother, let me tell you, this is a document, 1998, 1998D, that Reginald Guru submitted. And the play in question, there's a school structure that is still there, that building. I attended that school, 1987. I was the age of 12 years, 1987, I was 12 years old when I attended that school. And that, that structure is still there. So if you say that you get a deal for, for 1990, 1990 AD, then why were you doing uh, 1987? 1987. So we were giving people this document to carry in, maybe it can serve as another evidence and, 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 and prove our case too that other people can come to our aid. So we are, all, we are asking all political actors, we are also asking you people from the, from the media from the, from the media to also flag out this information so that other people can come in because we do not want to what? To see a country where you will always see bloodshed and what happened in Lima County, you see people fighting. You understand? Our country should remain peaceful. We do not want to honor this and deliver we are left government as a proper, proper government. We do not want to see ourselves in the street fighting and, and protesting and doing some things that will be negative to the country because even if we do it, we have our right to do it. But the international community seeing us that indeed we are protesting every day, we cause confusion every day. It, it signifies to the problem that the leader that we have does not have absolute authority over us and we do not want it to be like that. That is the reason for which we are going through the work, the legal means, and also asking the public to come to our aid. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, thank you. So, uh, there you have it. Let's give you the fire. This community is situated. Uh, I said, say it. They are saying it. They are going to say 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 it. They 